I thought we were. I thought we were going to get two in a row, but we're not going to. We're going to start Pokemon Stadium 2, the starter of choice. And Vanguard opting to use Samus. We're going to have that elf also use Samus. Vanguard immediately goes to Ice Beam mode. And I have to say, Samus is one of the most fun characters I've been playing. If that elf starts with a super wave dash right off the bat just to mess around. And Vanguard throwing that bomb out. I, liked, I love the boost ball attack. The, the PM developers got this right, to say the least. And oh, an, an unfortunate SD by Boot.Elf. Zared the wrong direction, and that's going to give Vanguard the early lead. Another super wave dash in there. I was like, I was, it's about time they figured out Samus. I hated that her, her morph ball was her role. I've hated that since, since the very first one. So I'm really, I'm real. It's cool. I guess it looks cool, but, but Vanguard, uh, they've done a really good job in the back room. Oh, they tried to use the super wave dash to approach, and Dudelf was not going to have any of that. Drops in the double Zare. I like that that Samus has her brawl text with the Zare. Um, the Samus, if there's one thing Samus could do well, and Vanguard didn't have a jump, I think he thought he did. Uh, one thing Samus thought they could do well. It was uh, keep away games with Zare, and Boot that Elf narrowly makes it back, just playing some wave, super wave dash trickery. Now I do I do not know the exact frame data I, uh, on super wave dash. I read today someone was about melee that it was between frames 42 and 43. I all I've heard is that Project M made it easier to do. I do not know the actual detail on it. But right now Boot that Elf's keeping it even narrowly. We got actually quite the crowd watching this match. And Boot.Elf has still elected to stay in fire mode while Vanguard stuck with ice mode Samus. Now the ice mode missiles seem to be a little bit slower, but they pick up speed faster while the fire ones start off a little bit faster. Uh, they both seem to have similar damage output though. Vanguard looking mighty nice now. Some of the other changes from the switching to ice beam mode. Um, you have a different fare. It's more of a, instead of a combo move, it's more of a straight knockback move. And then of course there's the up smash, which you saw Vanguard use earlier. And that's more of like a rising hook, kind of like an uppercut. And it also affects uh, Samus's down tilt, um, but I'm not sure in which way. I know that it, that it does affect it. And uh, that elf reads a fair on stage. It's going to get him with the fiery forward smash. Oh, and the, for the forward smash is, is pretty much the same move, but it looks it has the different impact. One's fire, one's ice. Uh, I believe the trajectory. Oh, a double super wave dash there on the on the bomb. And these guys looking like they play this a lot. It's super wave dashing all day. That elf has kept the game relatively close despite being down quite a bit there. Vanguard tried to pull a little flashy combo off stage, was unable to. And uh, I feel like that elf uh, had a really good chance to edge guard Vanguard there and just let him recover pretty pretty easily. And he actually got hit by the fully charged into a missile that may have saved him. Uh, but good DI there, ooh, but he had to dodge the charge shot. And so he was going to die there. Vanguard's still at 91%, though. So still anyone's game at this point. Right now, Vanguard taken now, starting to take a very solid lead. That was the first hit on the stock he's taken since he came back from, from this last one. It's the fully charged shot, and it's an even game in stocks. 84% deficit for Boot.Elf. See if he can start game one with an upset. And he quickly racks up the damage, as Samus seems to be able to do. Fifty percent, sixty-two. And he is making it work. Seventy-three gets him out of the grab. He was gonna get grabbed there, but that missile came into play. Seventy-seven. And now it's only a fifty-seven percent deficit. Oh, a boot 
There he goes. Gets the dodge up. Gets the Zare. As Vanguard tries to get a little ledge coverage, he uses the Zare to recover, and he's just fine. And Dot Elf made a, made a misplay on the wave land, but he is still okay for now. That But that Ice Missile nearly does it. It's not going to great the eye. And gets the bomb jump just in time, but he did not. He was unable to air dodge. So Vanguard will somewhat narrowly take game one. Uh, looked like he was pulling ahead there at the end. We'll see what they could do for game two. There's the three bands. Just want to give a shout out to our sponsors real quick, Double Jump and Smashboards. Make sure you check them out. Think it's facebook.com slash BogoCycle. And obviously, you know Smashboards.com. If you don't have a Smashboards.com account, you're missing out. There's character boards. There's news updates now. We've got the Smashboards rankings. The forums, we've got everything there that you, if you want to get into Smash, it's a great place to start. Three, and the great place to start two, in the second match is going to be Battlefield. And still Samus Dittos, no Lucario from Vanguard. So interesting decision, might be picking up a new character. And right now, Sweet Bad Elf is, is starting off spectacularly. Already has himself a lead, but uh, Vanguard opted to stick with fire mode this time. He never switched out of ice mode last game, but uh, both players in fire mode now. And I was talking earlier, I, I really do like playing Samus. That's who I was playing a lot in friendlies um, over the weekend. In Columbus. A little bit sour DI on that missile. Oh, and Na Vanguard hits him with the Samus Nair as he's tethering up, and it's going to cost that elf the stock, and after he started with such a nice lead early, Vanguard has made good work of it. And now, Root Elf is finding himself a complete stock down. So let's see what, what he can do here. Root Elf narrowly gets back. That's another down smash DI. Now, now one of the things I've uh, I found out this weekend about Samus' down smash, and this may have been in melee, I'm not not claiming to be an expert, but that, that down smash is conditional DI, and uh, Blue Elf will net that first stock here. But uh, that, you can, you can go wonky off the stage for, at zero. You can, you can go flying in the opposite direction. Um, so it's a little bit uh, weird, the way the down smash works, but uh, it's just something to be aware of. Kind of like where two link could get you in the low percent. Um, that, that was a little bit different reasoning, but the same same thing can end up happening. You can go pretty far off stage at an early percent by he getting hit by that down smash at the wrong angle. But now a lot of creativity from these players playing uh, differently. They they don't seem they're not really either of them doing too much in the work of combos, but they are. They're approaching with missiles safely, both bothering each other pretty good, disrupting each other's game. Elf has opted to switch to ice mode here. That's not going to pay off for him at this point. He loses his third stock, and he's down to his last one. And uh, for those wondering, um, I know somebody somebody mentioned about Jay Caesar. Jay Caesar was here. He actually left. Um, he worked very early in the morning, so uh, I know that the 36 entrance was a little bit too much for him. He doesn't wasn't sure if he could. Uh, he didn't want to be here at all. You know, normal Xanadu hours, let's say. So Vanguard suicides to try and get Elf, but he's unable to. That with that payoff was not worth it. He's down to his last stock. And Vanguard has just a just a hit away from taking the set. That elf looking to make the upset. Blocks the missile there. 
Uh, but he gets crouch canceled and down tilted. He is able to live it, but not able to live the nair. And that is the set for Vanguard. So he'll advance the next round.